welcome back to another update on Sherry Arbor's story. I know it's been quite a while since I've done one of these, but I thought I'd actually take the moment to sit down instead of streaming my life away. So for the first thing we're going to talk about is Claire's concept reveal. Obviously, recently I basically showed what Claire Frandon will look like in the story, and I gave a little explanation of who she is and, well, basically what she plays in the story. And yeah, that's actually really it. There's nothing else to say about that. I kind of just revealed that. And but yeah, let's just move on. You can tell I haven't done this in a while because I'm stammering over my words. So where are the videos? I know I just mentioned there like that I haven't done much videos and it's literally because I've been streaming so much on Twitch and I've been organizing all the VODs, making sure they all like go to the appropriate channels and taking down certain content to re-upload it to the archive channel and making sure the clips channel stays up to date that I haven't really had much time to actually make more of these kind of videos and plus at the same time I was kind of waiting for this moment until I completed the volume to actually make another one of these videos. Now I know when it comes to Claire I definitely want to do a kind of like profile thing like describing bits about her just like I did with Sherry. I just don't know when I'll do that or when I'll get it done. All I can say is that I hopefully will try and get that done before the next concept or after the next concept gets done. Now speaking of uh, completing the volume, I just completed the ninth volume of 14 in Sherry Arbor's story. This means now that I'll actually finally be able to move on to 10, you know, if you can do a basic edition, that's how it goes. But this is huge because volume 9 was over... Actually, you know what? No, I won't give the number, just in case it massively changes. But let's just say it's the like longest volume to date. And if I keep up the quality within that and the other ones, the story will probably need like a second revision at some point. So if I was to estimate how long volume 10 will take, it probably won't take too long. It's kind of a short volume anyway. I'd say like in terms of editing it, I usually just edit like a single... Uh, chapter a day and obviously depending on the chapter size and what's in it I can just either do it one day and move on to the next one I could complete it and merge it with another chapter the next day I could split it in two so and so forth you know there's so many different variables when it comes down to it that I'm not too sure but I could say maybe bef like just under two weeks when it'll be done and uh, let me think I think there was yeah that amount so yeah at least under a week or two weeks sorry <laughs> I'm already, like, again, flipping over my words. So as I already, again, mentioned just there, after being on volume 9 for so long, and now obviously going to move on to volume 10 out of 14, I might actually have to do another revision. Now, I don't know, like, right now I'm in a rewriting revision phase that I call, like, revision 1. And let me just say, like, I've done a lot of work, like, to make sure the story is a lot more coherent than it used to be, because there's basically, like... I was basically writing three different versions of Sherry Arbor's story from basically like one to four to five, maybe let's say one to five, and then five to nine, and obviously uh, ten to thirteen, the original amount of volumes before I added an extra volume. So, uh, because I've done that and I've done extra work and I've started learning more bits about how I should be going about writing this actual series, like by, for example, reading more books, I don't know if you heard that, but I've literally been reading more light novels and manga to get some inspiration on, like, how I should lay out, basically, Sherry Arbor's story. Like, a lot of different authors have their different ways of writing, and in school I was taught, like, there was basically the one way to write and one way only, which is a bit strange when, like, there's multiple different variations of writing and so on and so forth, you know? I don't know, maybe it's because, like, you know, for example, this book I have here, the um, Full Metal Alchemist, The Land of Sand. A lot of the paragraph, well, actually, there's not really paragraphs. They're all, like, one blocks of text that just span for pages upon pages with the odd, like, paragraph-looking break, which really is just, like, usually a single word that somebody says or a sentence that somebody speaks. And again, I'm taking that, like stuff on board to try and make Sherry Arbor's story better, which is why I propose that I might need to do a second revision, but I don't think I'll take as long on the second revision as I am now in the first revision, because in the second revision, I think I'll be able to retain a lot more of the knowledge and the stuff that's going on in the story this time, compared to last time, and obviously, um, it's going to be a lot faster because I've already gone over bits, so I might actually have to increase the amount of chapters I edit a day. 
It also depends as well, I never mentioned, but sometimes, some days I'll just want to edit like a paragraph, some days I'll just want to edit a sentence, and then there'll be some other days where I just make a new volume within three days and there it's done, you know? I definitely have to go do a second revision now that I think about it, because volume four was like freshly written in between uh, three and what originally was four, which is now five. So yeah, basically since like Claire's concept, you're probably wondering now, like, is there going to be any more concepts? Because, you know, I did Sherry, and now there's Claire, who's next, what's next, so on and so forth. I think the next one will definitely have to be another character. I don't think I'm going to show any locational stuff yet. But what I can say is the next character should hopefully uh, be in June. At least one more character uh, before I have to take a break in July for 10 days, which I cannot disclaim or disclose why. But obviously when I get back from uh, that time, from taking that time off, I'll explain everything. And hopefully after that time, I'll actually, you know, put more work and get another concept out and so, uh, so on and so forth. I might also mention just, well, not my, I will mention here that I am also probably going to be writing less during that 10 day period I was talking about, but I'll still be like, I still have my tablet with me just in case. And I'll also like, you know, just be resting now. Like, I think that's the main thing to do. I need to like take a moment to unplug, especially with all like, like I'm a guy that doesn't have a job that do makes videos. Well, quote unquote makes videos. I kind of now just upload VODs and re-upload videos onto the archives and take them off of the main channels because of copyright reasons. I also live stream now. Uh, I might be reducing it to one a day instead of twice a day. And obviously I write Sherry Arbor's story in the back as my excuses and job, which I feel like is a good enough excuse. I feel like I do put a lot of work into this story that, like, to not just be like, oh yeah, it's just a little side project I'm doing. It's not much. It's like, no, nah, I'm like, I'm dead serious when I say, like, I want to write this light novel series. At least to, like, the amount I've written so far, because, like, it'd be a shame to just, well, I get, especially because I'm moving on to volume 10 of 14, it'd be a shame to just drop it as if nothing happened, you know? Like, this is just, like, imagine, it's just because a story that just never gets told. Even if Sherry Arbor's story has the rockiest start, I'll hopefully be able to, you know, improve and be better as the volumes go on. Because the main plan is when I do release, like, well, actually get to the stage and hopefully be able to either self-publish or publish uh, Volume 1. I'm hoping at that point that, like, I'll be able to let everybody have a listen or, well, yeah, listen to read if we can get some audiobooks done of it as well. I know I'm thinking a bit, like, high up in the sky, but, you know, you got to aim for the clouds if you're going to be able to get anywhere in life. But, yeah, we're going to, like, do that. And, obviously, if I get enough feedback, I'll definitely take it on board and then edit Volume 2 as Volume 1 is coming out and people are actually getting to read it and whatnot. But anyway, thank you so much for listening to this video. This one's probably the longest update I've done so far because there was so much more I needed to say. There are still a few things I want to also say, but I think I'll save that for the next D3, uh, which should be happening around, I'd say, like maybe June 14th, 15th. It depends. It'll definitely be in June this time, not like last year where it was in winter. Which, by the way, D3 is my parody of E3, which is basically just an update video on how life and stuff is doing. And obviously, Sherry's going to be a part of the main attraction now, just for a little spoiler there. So if you'd like to hear more updates on this light novel series I'm writing, called Sherry Arbor Story, make sure to like the video if you liked it, comment if you want, subscribe if you want, and hit the bell if you do so desire. And I hope to see you all in the next update, which will most likely be D3.